Welcome to the Cryptonimatron and today I'm doing a review of the BirdChain ICO. Now BirdChain is a decentralized app built on the Ethereum blockchain that rewards people for sending SMS messages. Now you may think that's a bit strange as SMS is an old technology, but as we go through the review, I'm sure you'll understand why they think it's going to be a good idea. So although they don't have any direct competition in the blockchain space, you could compare them with companies like GEMS, um, you know, or any of these other uh, uh, Mechanical Turk companies, Amazon Mechanical Turk, for example, that reward users or workers for performing small tasks. Now, sending SMS um, using your free plan is not a new idea by any uh, standards of imagination. In fact, there are other companies like Drizzle, um, for example, that are a centralized company that wants you to send them SMS messages as part of marketing plans. So they earn money and you get paid a minute sum in return. Um, and then there's another one here that I found called Make Money Online with Money SMS. Um, again, a similar uh, approach to you know the um, the SMS sending SMS um, uh, messages on you know on behalf of marketing companies and and receiving rewards in turn. The thing that's going to separate the bird chain is of course there will be a tokenized ecosystem on the blockchain uh, which will control uh, much better and obviously reward you in cryptocurrency rather than having to use PayPal or uh, fiat money uh, to get paid in. So their white paper is on GitHub and you can have a look at it there. The link I will leave below as usual. Now, the problems they say are that people have unlimited messaging plans or SMS plans which they don't use and that's very true. I've got one. I rarely use SMS these days. I'm normally using things like Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, uh, Line, uh, those type of uh, P2P messaging applications. Now. Um, the other problem that they highlight here is that companies overpay for the A2P SMS service and are constantly looking for opportunities to decrease the price. So it's expensive to run an SMS marketing campaign, but the marketing campaigns are fairly effective, I believe, because when you receive an SMS, normally you do read it or you do check it, or at least you know where, it's, where it comes from as it flashes up on the, um, the top of your screen, at least it does on my phone. So they believe that the solution to these problems is that um, people can automatically sell their unused SMS to businesses via the Blurred Chain Instant Messaging app. Companies get an up to six times cheaper service and people get paid for every single SMS which is sold. Now, logically, this might work if you think about it, uh, you may have an unlimited SMS plan on your uh, mobile provider and you can send as many SMSs as you want per day. You can work sending them, get paid, get rewarded. So it might be something that you might, you might actually do. Plus, you're not paying for the service. If you have an unlimited SMS um, service already, you don't need to pay any extra. And uh, the other good thing about this as well is it might provide you with, a, with an income. If it actually does work, you might get a regular income of, and they say in their paper, 30 to $300 per month, which is not insignificant to millions or billions of people around the world. So the aims of BirdChain are to build a decentralized app it's similar to an instant messenger, if you like, on the Ethereum blockchain. Now, the app will effectively allow you to send SMS messages and get paid for it, giving you an income. Now, SMS marketing is still quite popular and they believe that marketers want to decrease the cost. So they'll offer them this service. They will utilize us, the individual users, our mobile devices, our mobile plans with our unlimited SMS plans that some of us have to send out the marketing SMSs. It's um, quite a unique concept and something that, uh, that you, know, you can see might have some traction in the future. So they're also committed to creating the BIRD token, which will obviously work on the ecosystem, on the BIRD chain ecosystem. And some of their language in the white paper here is um, 
focused on keeping the initial cost of the token down so the investors get value for money. I like this approach. I like this uh, reasoning. I like the way that they're, uh, they're attempting to give you value for money if you get involved in this ICO. Now, um, just to read out some of their abstract, uh, the Bird Chain is a decentralized app that rewards in, um, the intelligent features system that creates internal economics and will allow people to earn and spend money within the app. So like a marketplace, if you like. And the dApps are the future of the blockchain. Everyone at the moment invests in protocols rather than actual apps. Uh, comparison, whether to invest in an HTML protocol or actually an Uber app. And, and that really is a no brainer. So they intend to have the app functioning for commercial consumption within six months after the ICO. At the moment, I didn't see any demo or any um, alpha or beta versions of it. Uh, that's not to say that it doesn't exist, I just couldn't find any. Uh, however, they are looking at a time frame of sometime in 2018. Now, the first version of the app, as it says here, will hold an interface that will enable communication with friends and family um, and a possibility to sell unused SMS and also an opportunity to amass cryptocurrency from sending the SMS messages. So they will start with that feature as it has the highest potential of money earning in the beginning. Further to sending the SMS um, for rewards, you will be able to um, engage in some content which will also earn you money. There will be the personal data marketplace where you can market your own data and also a third party in-app in mini games uh, which will also generate revenue. So onto the market now. They are already involved in the same type of industry with a company called Vertex SMS. And they say they've delivered more than 2.6 billion SMS messages globally for various international brands, including Western Union, MasterCard, Salesforce, TransferGo, and others. Now, they're apparently a, um, a company in Lithuania and uh, also in Latvia. They may be based elsewhere. I'm just going on what's on the white paper at the moment. They have been going since 2012, as you can see, with a constant increase in turnover up until last year. So other reasons for growth are an increase of two-factor authentication. Obviously, most of you will be familiar with receiving an SMS as a security measure to log into maybe even a cryptocurrency exchange. Also, a, a two-way authentication has a staggering 99.9% .9 reachability rate across all mobile users, as long as the number provided is correct. You don't need an internet connection. Uh, mobile bandwidth is enough to receive the uh, two-factor authentication. And again, there's no need to install any additional apps. SMS messages can be received and uh, read on any mobile device that has a SIM card. And as we can see here, the application to person SMS market growth year on year continues to grow through 2015 to 2023 with the market estimated to reach $84 billion by 2024. That's a lot of money and potentially Birdchain could get a slice of that. So rather than taking what Birdchain say for granted in their SMS as the market share, I did a bit of Googling and a bit of looking through the centralized um, SMS marketing companies, and they all have a consensus. They all seem to agree. 90% of um, marketing done on mobile devices is done through SMS. So that's a very, very large percentage. And it also means there's a lot of money involved in this industry. So this is essentially how it's going to work. This is from the white paper. As you can see, the SMS sender app on the left, um, you can key in the amount of SMS you need to send. The app will calculate the approximate funds required for sending the SMSs and will ask for user approval. You can then increase or decrease the bid for the SMSs. Then the funds or the tokens are locked and transferred to the Birdchain node. The Birdchain node then locks the tokens and transfers the data to auction, which is then... Um, passed on to the uh, auction, the sending unit, the Android device, for example, <clears throat> the sending entity will then 
uh, select the prices that they want to uh, send their SMSs for. They uh, register on the chain network and there will be a global off-chain database, as you can see here under the auction routing sender section of senders. That will be based on BlockDB or IPFS. <clears throat> and then uh, the auction or the routing will search for the best routing. The unit will send an SMS using a mobile carrier. The SMSs will be accepted by the mobile carrier and sent. And then the, either it succeeds or fails. If it succeeds, then it will essentially do a proof of work, if you like. And uh, then it will release the tokens. 20% will go back to the bird chain node and 80% will go to the sending unit. Uh, that could be you or me who sent the SMSs and we will receive bird tokens in the end. In the case of the sending failing, then it will detect the bad behavior and uh, the proof of work will fail. And then it will uh, again repeat the process again to search for another fitting person to send the SMS, another fitting sender, so to speak. So if repeated fails, then it will re release all 100% of the tokens back to the original source. So in, it says here in the unlikely scenario of total failure, the user, the um, person that wants the marketing campaign uh, will be refunded in full. So it won't provide your phone numbers or personal detail to anybody else. Um, it won't use the app user contact list either. It will not allow service price to exceed 80% of the country's average. It won't allow companies to send messages without clearly stating their name. And it won't allow people to receive transna transactional or promotional messages to contact the BirdChain app user for 72 hours after receiving it. And BirdChain will not collect the user's personal data. Now, I thought it was important to mention all of that because people might have concerns that um, they're going to be compromised if they um, use this app or if they engage in the SMS marketing. So this is how the tech is essentially going to work. Um, you can basically download the BirdChain instant messaging app, uh, open, the, open the settings, set the number of SMS that they want to sell, click send, and then you can chat with your friends and family via the BirdChain app while the SMSs are automatically sold in the background. You can then check the in-app wallet to track their earnings and number of messages sold. So for businesses from the other side of the, t uh, the, the coin, you can um, gather a list of phone numbers or contacts uh, so you'll have to basically if you want to start a campaign there's no point going in blind you need to know your audience you need to know your uh, people that you're going to market to so the company has to visit the bird chain web app log in then purchase bird tokens in order to send uh, application to person sms's or the marketing sms's now this is important because this obviously will uh, push the value of the bird token up if you need to use the bird token to purchase the service then it's obviously got to be used then you will uh, set the campaign, upload the contact details, etc. set the bids, and then um, BirdChain will analyze the phone numbers and find the best way to conduct the campaign. It will then send SMSs only to contacts located in the same country and send to the same carrier numbers, finds the best prices, and it will form the smart contracts between the business and every single BirdChain app user whose SMSs are going to be purchased then BirdChain will send out the messages and then it will use the blockchain to verify the delivery of every single SMS. Then when delivery is confirmed and the conditions of the smart contract are fulfilled, the company bid is equally distributed among all the app users who SM, whose SMSs were used. So pretty simple. Uh, that's basically how it works in a nutshell. So the additional tech that they want to implement include content engagement. Um, I don't know if you're familiar, but if, if you're using games, you can purchase in-game upgrades or uh, features by content engagement. And that usually means you have to watch a promo video for another game or another app or something like that. So they're going to implement that. They're also going to implement live stream. Uh, there will be in-app mini games coming soon. So to create an internal economy, they say, and promote the bird token circulation. They've got to create a space where the app users would be able to spend the tokens. That includes a marketplace, as I said before. And there will be mini games 
on the marketplace that you can purchase for uh, bird tokens, for example. There will be also a personal data marketplace, which I mentioned earlier, another spelling mistake there in the uh, white paper. There are a few in this white paper, I have to point out. And, uh, you know, basically you'll be able to trade your data um, that the app is collecting and get rewarded in the tokens. Um, it will also allow companies to conduct surveys or uh, uh, purchase uh, personal data. There seems to be a lot of that now, this personal data sharing. Again, data is information. Information is uh, gold at the moment. And um, there seems to be a lot of apps that are going to provide that service that are on the blockchain. So what will the tokens be used for? Well, first of all, the marketing companies, the SMS companies can purchase SMS in bulk on the app. Number two, they will be given as rewards for people, users of the app sending SMSs. Number three, rewards for content engagement. So you can get rewarded for watching a video a day or um, some other sort of content. Number four, they will be given uh, or they will be used for purchasing survey data. For example, if you're a company and you want data on certain uh, things that people use the app for, that the app is gathering uh, information, then you can pay for that using the tokens. As a user, you can also allow your personal data to be sold as part of a survey and you'll get rewarded for that. You can also pay for in-app games and services and it will obviously be tradable on exchanges. Now, a note about that, they have specified Bitrex, Binance, and KuCoin as their three main favored exchanges, which is interesting, as if they can get on any one of those, you know this is gonna have traction. So let's discuss the token sale now. There was a closed pre-sale that ran from the 1st of January to the 18th of January. We've now moved on to an open pre-sale event, which started on the 18th of January. At the moment, the tokens are about 1.8 cents each with a bonus of 43%. The bonus is decreasing all the time and the sooner you get in, the quicker or the more you, tokens you will get. The main ICO date has not been announced yet. The soft cap is 1,500 Ether. They have not reached that yet. They're at about 305 Ether, if, I, uh, if I'm correct. And the hard cap is 10,500 Ether. The maximum total coin supply will be 580,263,158 tokens, or BIRD tokens. The total ICO distribution will be 441 million. Any unsold tokens will be burned. Team and founders will get 52 million and corporate contributors and other expenses will total 87 million. So looking at the statistics so far, the bonus stage decreases in 20 hours, 22 minutes from now. And uh, the ether raised so far is 260 ether. The bird tokens distributed total just over 14 and a half million and the current bonus as I mentioned is at 43% with a total number of 337 contributors. Now companies that pre-bought in the private sale, um, there are a hundred of them and they include uh, companies like Car Vertical, uh, who you may have heard of running their own ICO. Uh, they are obviously based in Lithuania, I believe Car Vertical is as well. So the pre-ICO successfully concluded, they raised 400% over their target. The reason they had a pre-ICO and it was a closed pre-ICO was to raise the funds to start the work on the app. Now they've done this quite cleverly. They are gonna start work on the app now that will allow them to move on to collect money from the ICO, knowing that they're gonna be able to develop what they say they're gonna develop. So they collected 150 ether. Um, they only spent, it says here, $8.20 on marketing. <laughs> I, I can't believe that. If they did, very well done. Um, and obviously now they are going forward with the pre-sale, the open pre-sale, which has raised 206 Ether. So a total of 356 Ether collected so far. So they're well on their way to the total minimum of 1500, which I'm sure will be achievable um, over the uh, a general crowd sale as well as the continuing pr uh, public pre-sale.
The bounty campaign is posted on their website. They have three different bounty campaigns. One is a referral campaign, one is a blog and news campaign, and the other one is a Bitcoin talk forum campaign. Now the referrals um, campaign is a, at a current bonus of 21%, and it allows you a weekly flat rate of bird tokens on all contributions raised. And with every upcoming week, the referral rate will decrease. So you've got more and more incentive to do it as quick as possible. You can sign up, put in your wallet address, log in, and uh, you'll get your affiliate link. Very easy, you can post it anywhere you like. As far as the blog and news uh, website, you can um, write a news article, a blog, a bounty. It has to be more than 500 characters or more. And then of course you can um, uh, earn some of the um, a, a, a birds <laughs> down below here. I'm struggling for words here. Um, a, a basic campaign is uh, 10,500 birds. Medium campaign is 21,000 birds, equivalent to half an ether. An extraordinary campaign is 42,000 birds. So there's a lot to earn here. So what I would suggest is that you go out and you contribute and earn. Um, I certainly will be submitting my uh, blogs and my um, YouTube uh, a video so you know why not do one for yourself spread the word it's already an under undervalued project in my opinion and uh, there's some money to be earned from it so moving on now to, finally to the bitcoin talk forum a bounty you've got a translation bounty which will earn you 0.34 of an ether and a moderation bounty of 4200 birds which is equivalent to 0.1 ether fill in the form and then visit bitcoin talk and um uh, yeah, that's it. So yeah, quite an interesting bounty campaign. I like the fact they've integrated it into the website. So I couldn't find a roadmap. There was mention of it on Reddit that there was one and it's disappeared. Uh, however, within the white paper, it does say they have a six month window after the ICO to get this app running. So you'll be able to download it commercially um, and use it. Also, I think it's important to point out that they are um, in, they're basically trying to get listed on a big exchange rather than small ones. Uh, so this is important because if you invest and they go on Binance or Bittrex or KuCoin, the three uh, exchanges that they mention, then there's going to be a lot more traction than if they launch on, uh, no disrespect to these exchanges, but OKX or HitBTC or one of the other more minor exchanges. So uh, their focus will be on that. So that's going to happen. So that'll be part of their roadmap. But six months till project launch officially, not that long to wait. And if they get on a major exchange, we could see some real decent gains for this coin. So let's quickly look at the team. The team is involved with the core members, um, Ernestus, who's the founder, Orimus, the founder, and uh, Audreus, who's the chief executive officer. They have been members of um, Vertex SMS, so they've already been doing SMS services, SMS marketing, or application to person marketing. And they've worked with Western Union, Uber, Salesforce, etc. before. They've sent over 2.6 billion SMSs. That's quite a lot. So they already are familiar with the technology. They're already familiar with the SMS marketing. And that's quite important. I like to see teams that are already active and already experienced in the fields that they want to bring the blockchain technology to. It means they have an understanding of how they can apply blockchain technology to their current vocation. Now, if we look down there, team is quite extensive. They have um, people in all key positions, as you can see, from marketing through to um, a, the software des developing uh, and also the um, a office people. Uh, marketing products, uh, administration, etc. So the team is quite good. We have this guy down here, Jiao Martins, who is a brand ambassador. As far as the advisors are concerned, we have two Anatoly Resin, who is a founder of Faster, which is a reading training app development firm and Assist Union, which builds intelligent and performing web enabled systems. Then there is Andreas Petrau who is uh, another advisor. He has seven plus years of experience working in uh, financial services and data providing business. Currently, he is a leading relationship manager with Standards and Poor. So um, he's involved helping customers develop their businesses using advanced analytics, 
standing up financial data analytic tools and creating and maintaining financial models. So as far as partners uh, are concerned, they don't appear to have any major partners, so to speak, except uh, their um, Vertex SMS business, which has obviously led them down the path of trying to run an ICO to develop an app for uh, blockchain technology, which is uh, good. But um, I found this interesting article that they wrote on Steam called Phony ICOs Partnerships, and uh, it goes on about strategic partnerships between ICOs and businesses. And... Um, what, com what they think companies should be doing. So I'll leave a link to that below. Um, they also uh, go on about types of partnerships as well. So an interesting article, you might want to read that. Uh, it might um, help you whether you're swaying to invest in this ICO or not. And of course, we have to mention again, they do have a partnership with Car Vertical. Car Vertical bought 100 Ether worth of SMS services from Birdchain already. So they will be using a uh, Birdchain to market, SMS market their um, product um, in whichever country they are uh, based in. I think it's Lithuania if I'm not wrong. So as far as community support is concerned, they have um, all the usual social media angles covered. They have a Telegram channel with over a thousand users. Um, we'll take a look at that in a second. They have a Facebook page with over 7,000 likes. They have a YouTube channel with 485,000 views. They're also active on uh, Facebook Messenger, Medium, Reddit, Twitter, LinkedIn, and also GitHub. So let's quickly look at their Telegram. As you know, I quite like my uh, Telegram as a gauge of how many people are involved in the community and how fast they respond. Uh, they have responded to me already today. I did ask a question about burning the tokens. Uh, they confirmed in the affirmative that they would burn all unsold tokens after the crowd sale. So that's a very good uh, uh, news for us. And also um, they responded, which is a, a sign that they're active on the, on the social media. They have now over 4,076 members on the Telegram and their community seems to be growing very rapidly indeed. So that's something to watch. Um, Twitter was a little bit more disappointing with only 816 followers. But again, I think they will start to grow now once their ICO takes off. So um, they, uh, they are active on social media. As you can see, they've been posting uh, only a few hours ago on Twitter. Okay, now on to the verdict. And first off, as usual, the positives that I see in this ICO. So starting off, uh, they are already all, uh, involved in the application to person SMS business. And this means that they've got a very um, good understanding of the marketplace. They've got a good understanding. They already have clients and they, uh, they, can, they can make this work. Applying the blockchain will take them a step further and the potential for success is already there. The second thing that I saw that was a positive are obviously the uh, clients. They are very um, high, very good quality clients, I would say. Uber and Western Union, two massive companies. They're already um, a client of Vertex SMS. So potentially they will use the new bird chain service in the future. Number three that I saw was they are a full and competent team. They already have an office full of people in respective positions so they can basically function as a proper company. They have an HR person, they have a manager, marketing, software developers, etc. Number four, this is very attractive to me. They have a very low token price. Now, as you know, I like my low token prices because the potential to grow is greater. If you start off at one cent or under a cent, the potential to go higher um, is, is far greater than if you start at $1 or $2. Now, um, this is priced at the moment, I think just under two cents. Ethereum is dropping slightly, so it's probably a bit less, probably one and a half cents. Uh, that's very attractive to me. Um, I see potential growth here. Number five, there's a relatively low total supply, only a shade over 580 million tokens. Again, that's very good when compared with the low token price. Circulatory supply will be a maximum of about 440 when it hits the exchanges. So again, potential for growth. 
Uh, low hard cap, again, they're not trying to raise millions and millions of dollars. The hard cap is set at 10,500 Ethereum, which works out at the moment around $10 million. Now that's fairly low in ICO terms. It's enough for them to get on with the job and build the product and uh, pay for all the uh, the co associated costs, etc. But it's still quite low, which means the when it goes onto the exchanges, it will be a, a low market cap. There will be a burn of unsold tokens, and I like that. Um, in fact, in many cases, it's quite good to see these uh, ICOs not actually sell out. Obviously, not from the uh, not from bird chain's point of view, but from our point of view as an investor, if they burn the unsold tokens, it makes the tokens even rarer, thus adding to their value. Number eight. As I um, briefly mentioned, it will be a micro cap coin when it hits the exchanges, which means there's great potential if you get in at the ICO. Now, there is a, a possibility that this could launch on the exchanges, not get any traction and go even lower, in which case I will probably stock up more. But at least if you get in at the ICO level, you know uh, that you've paid you know, possibly the uh, lowest amount that you will on a, uh, for, the, for the tokens, and therefore you've got the greatest chance of making profits. Number nine, it is actually very disruptive to the application to person SMS industry. Now, if people can get paid for utilizing their spare SMSs, um, that could really be a game changer. And number 10, that's quite important as well, it could yield basic income for people now, $30 or $100 or $200 might not be a lot for you, might not be a lot for me, but it could be a lot of money for a lot of people. So if it yields basic income and it works, it could be very important for a lot of people. So on to the negatives and, uh, you know, all the ICOs that I review have negatives and this one, again, is no exception. So there's no roadmap here. So we don't really know what they're trying to achieve and when. We have a rough idea of what they're trying to achieve from the white paper. Um, I covered it in the tech section of the upcoming tech, but with no real dates for implementation and that's not good enough from a company like this. Number two, the ICO details were fairly unclear. There was a mention in the uh, um, white paper, but really they should have it uh, graphics on their website. They should uh, mention everything, including token burns. I had to ask about the token burn on the Telegram group. And, you know, they really should have thought of this. They really ha should have this all down in writing. Um, they're planning an ICO. So please pick a date. Let us know the exact details so that we're all well informed. Number three, there was spelling mistakes, grammatical errors in the white paper. Now for a project that looks to raise even a million dollars, even $10,000, Get a proofreader, go through it, check your spelling mistakes. Guys, it's not too difficult, yeah? You're wanting us to chuck money in, $1,000, $500, $100. Well, the least you can do is check your spelling mistakes. Look, and I know English is probably not your first language. You're Lithuanian, that's fine. But, you know, get somebody to check it for you. At least read through it. I did, and I'm just doing a bloody ICO review, and I spotted three, four, five, six mistakes. Number four, I think the success of this ICO will be purely based on the application to person SMS business. So if they can make that a success with their existing business and their existing client, then it will work. But if not, it's hinging on that only. You know, it's, uh, it, you know it, 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 could be, it could fail longer, medium, long term if they cannot um, transfer the success they've had with their existing SMS business onto the blockchain. And number five, and the main negative for me, is they do not appear to have a working product yet. They state in the, S in the white paper, sorry, that they're gonna have one in a few months after the ICO, but you know me, I like my working products. Uh, I like my uh, ICOs with something tangible already. Um, so no working product, no alpha or no beta is a big negative for me. However, moving on to the verdict. I'm willing to overlook that because, and this is, you know, simply in, in this case only, because they've already got an established A2P SMS marketing business going. So I'm willing to overlook the fact that they haven't implemented their bird chain app yet. So my verdict is bird brain or bird chain. And I give this three and a half stars out of five. Um, it could be a very, very good ICO. It could be a lot better. 
if they just tidied up some of the negatives, they had an alpha or they, you know, they didn't have spelling mistakes in their white paper. But overall, I think this is a very, very worthwhile ICO. And the reasons I say that are because of the price of the token, the low hard cap, the relatively low supply, and the fact that this has potential to make quite a lot of gains. Now, um, I will refer you back to a similar ICO not so long ago that I did a review upon back in December, and it did a 100x. That's right. You heard me, people, 100x. What ICO was it? It was Snowvio, and I picked it as a token to watch way back when. I picked some up. I have got a feeling that Birdchain may well be the next Snowvio. Now, the relationship between them, um, they are specific little apps that disrupt their particular industry. In the case of Snowvio, it was the lead generation industry. In the case of Birdchain, it's the application to person SMS industry. They are very, very disruptive. Now, they may not be whack bam in your face like, you know, ArcBlock or uh, one of the other big ICOs that's gone off recently, but these little ones are sleepers and they, they are the ones that can potentially make you a lot of gains. So will I be investing in this ICO? You're dang right I am going to be investing in this ICO. I'm going to do it right now after I finish, uh, finish this uh, video and I'm going to go and make myself some dinner and then after that I'm going to sit down and I'm going to send these guys some, some um, ether. And I'm excited about this ICO. I, like I said, I think this one has got a lot of potential. So thank you for watching again. Um, I'm waffling on a bit now, so I'll, uh, I'll stop. But please, guys, if you're going to invest, always do your own research. Do your own due diligence. Invest wisely. Invest cautiously. And never invest more than you can afford to lose. And please remember, these reviews are only my opinion. This is not investment advice. Um, I reiterate that again and again. You know, don't just listen to what I say. Go and do your own research. If you've got a good feeling, good gut feeling about this ICO, invest in it um, uh, like I am. And uh, yeah, good luck. And thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. It always helps. And if you can, um, please use my affiliate link below. I don't get paid for these, video, uh, the, these reviews, sorry. And I don't get uh, paid for these videos. So please... If you, um, if you use my affiliate link, I get a little bit of tokens. You get a little bit of a discount. Everybody's happy. That's the only benefit I really get from these vids. So thanks for watching and I'm out.